Welcome to My Paper Garden, a workshop I'm doing on paper sculpture as part of the exquisite portraits for Kuno Nunog. I'm Martin Beckett and I'm a professional illustrator. For the Illustrators Ireland 2020-2021 group exhibition, we have teamed up with a bunch of illustrators from France to create a giant exquisite confinement corpse, which is just a fancy way of saying a large body of work. The exquisite corpse was a term created by a group of artists in the 1920s as a way to collaborate with each other on a single piece of work. So, in the same way as the 1920s Dada artists, our exquisite portraits will be created by a bunch of people together. How can you be a part of this? We need you to do some artwork based on nature and wildlife which will be added to this strange family portrait. We're looking for you to create birds, flowers, plants, insects, leaves, mushrooms, snails, squirrels, basically anything you love that comes from nature around you. Everyone's art will then be added to the finished giant exquisite confinement corpse exhibition when museums and galleries reopen, hopefully soon. In this workshop I'll show you how to make this, a little slice of my garden, in paper. For this workshop you will need a sheet of A4 paper, this is just printer paper, a biro pen, a pencil, a roll of tape and some scissors. So this is going to be an A6 piece. Now an A6 is an A4 piece of paper folded in half and then folded in half again. This is A6. We're going to use all four sections of this. So these are all four pieces, uh, all A6. Next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour them. Now you could use a felt tip, paint, anything. I'm just going to paint mine. Now you can paint them any colour you want, I've just chosen these, these four different colours. Um, so we have our foreground, our grass, our middle ground which are our plant stems, um, our flower heads to go on top of the plant stems and our background leaves. So we're going to start with the grass. Now first thing we're going to take the, the grass paper and we're going to fold it into three sections like that. Then we're just going to cut these up into separate bits. When they're cut up, we're going to draw some zigzags for our grass on the back of them. So just a heap of zigzags like this. And we'll do that with every page. Doesn't matter how big or how small you do them, every page. Then we'll cut them out just using the scissors. So I have my three pieces of grass cut out. Foreground, middle ground, background. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to turn them over and we're going to use the ballpoint pen. Now the ballpoint pen is uh, it's just a scoring tool, it's to allow us to fold to a line. So we'll take a point somewhere near the bottom there, I'm going about a third of the way up, right the way up to the centre of the grass and we're going to score each one of those right to the very tip. Then we're going to use that to fold like this. It'll follow the fold, that's all, that's all the uh, scoring pen does, it helps fold in the right place. Now as you see this then curves up like that. To stop that what we'll do is we just fold it back out onto the painted side like so and we get this lovely zigzag. So we're going to do that with each one. Next step's a simple bit. We take a piece of tape from our cellar tape and you've probably all done this before. We fold it over and roll it into a tube. This creates a double-sided thing. It also allows a little bit of flexibility which gives us a bit of gap and a bit of 3D. So we take our two four, we leave one to the side, take a foreground and middle ground, and we just put on some bits of tape either side and layer them up. So, like so. You then have a 3D piece of jaggedy grass. Next step is the plant stems. So we take our plant stem piece, we turn it over, and we'll draw on the back of it some nice big stems. Two, three with some leaves coming off it like so. Okay, so nice and simple. And then we'll just cut these out. So here we are, we have our three pieces of uh, stems and leaves cut out. So we'll take them and we fold them, turn them upside down and use your scoring pen. You go up the centre of the stem, then you turn it over and you go from the centre of the leaf to the outside, like so, on each leaf. Again, this allows us to follow, follow the fold. Then we simply fold it. So we fold the centre in like so, and we fold the leaf out like so. Don't 
There we go. And that gives us a nice 3D shape. So we do that for the other two. Next step is to stick the plant plants to the grass. So again, we get some of our double-sided curled over tape and we stick it on the bottom of each one of these plant stems like this and we just stick it to the back of our grass like that. Okay, so we're taking shape now. Next step is to do the flowers. So you take your flower card, turn it over and we draw three flowers. Simply drawn three flowers. Now, cut them out. So they're all cut out now. So we take our flowers and on the painted side of it, we take our pen, put it right in the center and then score right to the outside of each petal. Then we simply fold up the petals to give them that nice 3D effect. Okay, so we have um, all of our curled flowers. Next step is to um, take a piece of curled up sellotape, pop it into the center and stick them onto the top of the plant stems, like so. Three. There we have our little garden almost done. We're coming to the end of this now, so this is great. What we have now is the, the leaves, the background leaves. So here's your background leaf paper. Turn it over and draw yourself two nice, large leaf shapes. Simply like that. Then cut them out. Once they're cut out, take your pyro and from the center, again to the tip, like we've done before, score it and just gently give it a crease, just so you can see where the crease is. Then, about a centimeter up, we're gonna draw a V like that. See, I'll draw it in, in pencil so you can see it. So follow that with your scoring pen, then turn the leaf over and do the same again about a centimeter up and turn over. Once you've done that to both of them, I'll show you the backs. You can see the V's there. We're going to fold the V. So fold into the curve. So where you've scored it, that's where you fold. So the first one goes on the back, the second one goes on the front, the back, then the front. So it should concertina up. You get yourself a nice v-shaped like that. I'll show you again. So here's your piece of paper. So I've scored it on the back first. So we fold up the back two sides and then we turn it over and we fold the front two sides and so on. Back, back, front, front until we get a nice concertina like that. That's our two leaves. Next step is to put them into the garden. So again, we take two pieces of rolled up sticky tape like that, and then we simply put them onto the garden like so. So we have our background leaves. After the finishing touch, the last piece of grass. This just goes on the back and it gives us that extra little bit of depth and strength like that. There we go, my finished paper garden. Once you have them all done, don't forget to sign the back of them and you can post them to The Lab, Dublin City Arts Office, Care of Illustrators Ireland, 1 Foley Street, Mount Joy, Dublin 1, D01, WA07. And again, don't forget to put your name on the back of them. Thank you very much for watching, have a go yourself. Remember, make as many as you like. We want to see loads and lots of different colors, bright, shiny ones, anything. Um, and look out for videos and workshops from the other Exquisite Portraits exhibition for Kunun and Og on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. Don't forget to follow um, Illustrators Ireland on uh, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. At Illustrators IRL, Illustrators Ireland and Illustrators Ireland respectively. If you like my stuff, you can always follow me, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Twitter is One Tree Studio. Instagram is One Tree Studio Art and Facebook One Tree Studio Limited. Thank you again for watching and uh, look out for the others.